Growing up, Kumasi, it's kind of very hard. You need to sometimes move illegal to get something, you feel me? What you're hearing is the sound of people that have been neglected for a very long time. It's the pain that makes us go in for something. We are living the America lifestyle. Niggas be dropping. You see that gang shit stuff? Yeah. Yeah, Kumrika Santa America represent for life. We are the kings of the street now. Got another bird call again. This time, I'm in Ghana, yeah? Kamasi to be exact. Now, Kamasi is the second biggest city in Ghana, and I'm hearing it's been taken over by a group of rappers who are obsessed with drill music. They go by the name of Comericans. There's a big scene happening out here, and I need to find out exactly why that is. Yeah. What are you saying, Jeffrey? Is that what we are? Yeah. Is that what we Jeffrey? Oh, yeah, right. what are you saying, Miami Beach? Yeah, yeah. let's go there. Let's go there, man. Up until recently, Ghana's main musical exports were High Life and Afrobeats from its capital, Accra. Accra is the national capital. That's where you have all the big TV stations that go nationwide, that transmit nationwide. Most of these few record labels that we have are based in Accra. So there's oh. a lot of power in Accra. And we, because we don't have our fair share of development when it comes to infrastructure, buildings and all that. Things in Kumase are seen as jokes to people in Accra. So people feel shy to say that they live in Kumasi or they are coming for Kumasi. All that changed in 2020 when a new breed of Ghanaian musicians from Kumasi created their own iteration of drill, inspired by pop smoke and American culture. These boys decided to put on Kumasi and brand it with American sound. They actually came up with the term Kumerica. Kumerica, you fuck up, you go mash up your head. It's Kumase and America. Right. And these guys, they drip, they, they make sure that they are looking fly all the time. They have a slogan, never get caught on fresh, you know. And what is that? What, what do they mean by that? It means every day, stay dripping 247. That's right. what we do. This sick new rap genre locally called a Saka is leaving fans around the world excited, intrigued and confused. We're going to be rapping some Ghanaian drill today. And I saw this on Twitter and I was like, what? That's life. So, <laughs> Yo, so we got UK drill, Chicago, New York, US drill. And now we got Ghana drill. Of our drills, bro, the only drill we never heard is Ghanaian drill. But there's one tune in particular that's really got people talking. This is hard as hell, dude. Oh, holy, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is fire, bro. The young bull responsible for this anthem is Yao Tok. At 19, he's the face of Ghanaian drill, the youngest in the scene, and he's the first to break through internationally with this absolute banger, Saw Ray. He even got King Stormzy on the remix. On the remix, you don't live the life, you just dream it. Don't mind them boys, they don't mean it. If I slap your face, you're gonna feel it. Slide in the middle like Grealish. This kid is undeniably a star. And even though his rise has been meteoric, he still lives at home with his mum in the area called Sentase, renamed Louisiana, which is where I'm going to link him. Yes, yes. What's going on? What's happening, star boy? What's happening? You good, yeah? Like, what's it like for you growing up around here? Okay, um, I grew up here and it was cool, doing bad things. My friends were really doing some gangster shit. My mom told me I was turning into a bad kid. Right. She showed me, yeah, so she told me, no, bro, come inside. Uh -huh. Along the line, I fell in love with music, then I started music. So music kind of saved you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to go hard in my music and get something for the family. So. Sore was the one that like literally just blew you all the way up, all like crazy. Blast. How did that song come about? It when this whole Kumarika started. 
Mm. I was sitting up um, on top of this building, listening to a beat. I heard, yeah, but sorry. Then I went to open it, Reggie, their studio, and I said, bro, I got some hook here, let's let's get it done. That absolutely popped off. Yeah. And then like one of the big guys like mm. Stormzy came over yeah. and then like connected with you or whatnot. I was calling, I was resting. But this year, next year, I'm on the next thing. Master my flow and my start to perfection. Tell the truth and it sounds like I'm flexing. Big Mac, my fam call me junior. My brother should have pulled up sooner. Look at my eyes, see Kwame and Kruma. That's a real presidential black man. Bro, it was crazy for real. I was like, bro. I told them they should stop playing. Yeah, yeah, Stormzy yeah. Can never, nah, Stormzy can never come on my song. Yeah. Because at that time, I was just coming up. I knew nothing. It was crazy. He came down. People screaming and stuff. Crazy. Crazy, bro. What got you into drill music? So I think last year, I saw Pop Snow. Right. His Joe, that Dior. I fell in love with his rap, attitude everything and the beat was moving crazy too and i said no i can't flow better on this beat though <laughs> yeah that was the that was the are you still in education as well i'm in my final year in senior high school so when you go to school people will be shouting your name that's crazy you can't even get a piece of mind to learn what is it like to have a famous son free so happy the boys I had to be free. Many had to be away, you know. You're a famous mom. She was famous than me. Because the people were shouting, see how talks, mom, see how talks, mom. Yeah, she yeah, has yeah. a store out there. People, hi, mom, hi, mom. Is people it? Be passing by. Oh. Yeah. Y'all yeah, talk, man. This year, one born up on this year place. You man, the toughest, man. This year, one warrior boy. Y'all yeah, talk. Hold on, because she's back. Y'all come down. This brother can't move an inch without getting love from his fans. Let's go. We're going to the main strip where Yaltog would hang about as a kid. And in typical American fashion, it's been renamed Miami Street. Yo. Yes, brother. Bless you. Yeah, man. This is the hood. Got gangsters. It sometimes get dangerous here. Yeah. Someone can harm you. Someone can just take your things because they be hot niggas here. Yeah. This is also the street where Yaltog shot the Soul Ray music video. It didn't take long before they gave me a live reenactment. And you know me, of course I had to jump in and check it out. I didn't even realize that like you had to do a specific dance to this tune. A lot of footwork's happening right now. A lot of footwork. Watch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Watch me now. Yeah? What's the twist up now? What's the twist up now? What's the twist up? Okay. Yeah. Twist up now. Twist up that. Twist up that now. Twist up that now. Yeah, twist up that. So what you can do the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what comedy, oh, we love a little bit of philanthropy. I hope I said the, the word right. He just had like all of the kids just lined up and he's just been giving out some money to them and whatnot. And do you know what I love about all of this? We've been out here for a few hours here and no one has asked for nothing. And it makes you just want to give. They're still out here just showing bare love, just dancing and just catching a vibe. This is sick. These lot, you can see how proud they are of him. Like, this is a proud community. Honestly, yesterday was a madness. Today, I'm heading to the local market to pick up a special delicacy I've been hearing about called Tiger Nut. Sounds kind of sus still. Yo, what is that? So since I've been here, yeah, I heard a couple of people talking about tiger nut. I'm going to try this, but I have a couple of questions. Mm 
tad salty. Is it from like a tiger's actual nut sack? And if it's from a tiger's nut sack, like how do people know that a tiger's nut sack tastes good? And how do people get close enough to a tiger's nuts to get the nut juice out of the tiger's nut sack? I'm going to the town of Ampabame to link the king of melodies himself, Kwaku Flick. Oh shit, sorry. Yo, yeah, bro. Man them's out, yeah? Well, go on. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, boom, boom. Gang, what's going on? Yes, man, what's going on? You brought the full team out, yeah? I love it. Yes, yes, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. I come to meet the superstar. What's going on, man? How are you, man? Good, man. You gonna show me around your hood and that, like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, here is Ampama Main City, yeah, Kumasi. So let's go. Yeah, yeah. Pow, what is that, what is that? What is that? Okay, so, like, pow, pow. P-A-W, prayers always work, as you can see, it's here. Oh, Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, what was it like growing up around here? Like, what was this area like? My, my area is kind of like ghetto area. Right, like right. Street life here. Yeah. Okay, so I want to show you the cheese palace. Man didn't say yard, the man said palace to blouse and skirt. <laughs> oh, is this it here? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, are you allowed in here like that? We're not going to get shot, are we? Yeah, let's go. This is how I'm seeing it, yeah? Basically, these men are saying this is the Chief's Palace. The gates are open and we've just walked into a man's yard. I'm worried about stray dogs, guard men with straps, and any type of bad man that is lingering around here. But these men seem to have it figured out. So, you know what, we're just gonna go with it. I feel like I'm about to meet the president, boy. Ah, oh, there he is there, yeah? Have I, have I got a greeting? Oh, okay. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we can sit down, right? <clears throat> well, f firstly, thank you for allowing me to come into your house. You know about him and his music. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about the music? It's good. Yeah. It is making our town to be, you know, coming in proper. Right. Wow. 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 Make wow. myself wow. Wow. the whole world. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we, are, we are going to uh, pray for her and him to become more, more proper. Right, yes, of course. May God bless him. Amen. That was like meeting the in-laws for the first time. Breathe, Chucks, breathe. To take the edge off, he's taken me to a local spot to try some Ghanaian drinks. I just hope it's not that tidying up thing. And what's this? On, this local adonko akaji ginger. This is what my people take. Has it got alcohol in it? Yeah, yeah. But I only take this. You don't yeah. Drink, you yeah, I don't drink alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, I respect that. I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, cheers, yeah, yeah, cheers, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I can't even tell you what's in that, but all I know is it's got alcohol and ginger. It's still in my chest. It's still in my chest. What would you say like has been your like biggest moment? Would it be money? Like I know money was like really yeah, yeah, a song yeah. that was that really did well for you. How did that song come about? It was just a vibe. It was just a freestyle thing. Then I did it. Boom. Like how has things changed for you since then? Okay, so um, I didn't have anything, but now I can I can feel myself. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. How was you able to stay away from like what the streets have to offer? Sometimes, you know, as a kid when you grow up, you grow up in a certain community, yeah. and there's a lot of things that are happening that are not really good things. How were you able to stay away from that? How was you able to steer yourself away from it? I was able to stay away through schooling. Wow. Yeah, because any time, any day I was in school, like doing my, like, furthering my education and all those stuff. So that's it, the secret, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me get this straight. 
My man doesn't drink alcohol and he's committed to his studies. These rappers are built different here. My grandma is here. Your grandma's here? Yeah. Is he right now? Yeah, he's here right now. Well, I want you to ask her one thing, yeah? Ask her, how does she feel about the music that you make? Okay, I see. Say no, when you give me a new one, who's if I like? And you're not me, and when you give me, say me. Sing it, sing it, go on, sing it, sing it. I found out that Yao Tog and Kwaku are BFFs, and tonight they're going head to head in a local football match. The blue is Team Flake. The guys in the Man United tops are Team Tog. Tog's team's not cutting it. <laughs> I feel like if I managed Tog's team right now, I could get them a goal. Stay tight, number three. Yeah, look, two, there's two men in the same space. That's a problem. When you stay tighter on the man, they can't get past you. Like, good game. So you two got each other's back, of, not just on football, but... You're more than brothers. More than brothers. Next time, if any of you need me, shout me. I provide seven goals minimum. No worries, thank you. All right, bless it, my brother. Come on, man. All that football has got us feeling peckish. It's my last night and the boys invite me to dinner for some traditional Ghanaian food and virgin cocktails. So what's the plans for the future? What countries are you, like, hoping that you can reach? Make it road to me, it's London, no cap, London. Yeah. Have you got, like, a London accent? Um, I think I know any. Um, in it? Yeah, any. <laughs> I know that Ching. What's that? Ching. Ching? Yeah. Oh, that's a mad one. <laughs> I need to listen to the music before I remember all this stuff. Man's coming up with I know dip man down. Mm. <laughs> all right, man them. Mm. Love for looking after me, right, showing me around. I really appreciate it. And all the best. Cheers, Cheers to greatness. Cheers. Well, you have to finish the herd. Now let's go. Do it like this. How do I eat this? Don't chew it. Like... I'll chew it. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's all right, yeah. still? Yeah, that was good.